my name's Adam Nato. I'm an R&D manager within the St. Cobain Life Sciences business. In the medical market today, the customers really want value-based solutions. Uh, silicone tubing is widely used in very critical applications when it comes to pumping, whether it's IV therapy, enteral feeding. Having and minimizing variation is very much something they're aware of and important to them to drive that variation out. When looking at the process overall, it can go all the way back to mining of silica ore. And as you go through different chemical processes, you go through making silicon gum stock to the silicone bases, to putting in different fillers, and you use these to then go through your extrusion process. And the extrusion process itself has a lot of variation, anywhere from milling and mixing, over to the extrusion side, to the final uh, downstream processes of cutting and inspection. When you stack up all these different variations on the material side, as well as the process side, it has a drastic impact on product quality. What we've been able to do is really limit these. On the process through custom compounding, having control over our individual ingredients, we're able to have a lot less material variation in our properties. And on the processing side, looking at all the different variables there, knowing what has the impact on dimensions and on physicals, we're able to reduce that through our knowledge and deliver a full solution that has overall reduced variation compared to anybody on the market. When you buy materials off the shelf from a material supplier, they also have lot to lot variation. Typically when you get a material in, it'll have say plus or minus five points of hardness on a 50 durometer material. That's plus or minus 10% variation. And when you're trying to design a pump that has to have less than plus or minus 10% variation on the final product, when you're already taking it up by your material, it's not a good combination. Taking the material and designing that and controlling these inputs are what can certainly help reduce variation on the material side. What we've been able to do is actually take one step back in the process instead of using a compound and do some specialty compounding. So we have uh, influence on the ingredients that are going into it and we can reduce that variation in there. And we've been be able to reduce it up to about 50% reduction. Uh, so for example, if it's a 50 durometer silicone, we've been able to do something that is plus or minus two and a half uh, Shore durometer on there, as opposed to plus or minus five, which translate directly over to the peristaltic pumping of our tubing and therefore the performance dosage of our pumps. The next part about it is the dimensional side. And so through our development here, we've done a lot of proprietary knowledge building on all the different effects of the processing uh, equipment that go into the dimensions. Um, through our method, we've been able to show a quite substantial decrease in the dimensional variation, both long-term and short-term uh, variation of the product. We've been able to really improve our CPKs hit tighter tolerances for our customers and drive our variation out. This is very important uh, in all aspects from having a correct size ID. So when you're doing drug delivery, you're getting the, the amount of medication that you're thinking you're getting, uh, as well as from a concentricity standpoint, if your wall thickness is off, you're not getting that inclusion of the tubing in the pump and you could be dosing less or more medication to the, the patient than is much needed. The other aspect of silicone compounding, we can also tailor it to work into a product. Uh, in a peristaltic pump, there may be a very specific property that is more important than others, and we could just reduce the variation within that one property and, and target it specific to a customer application or an, a general application on the market. All right, so as we said, variation comes in a lot of places. It's absolutely critical to the final step. And when you bring together the variations that you see in materials, the variations that you see in processing, it really has a big impact. So through our development and through this custom compounding of our raw materials to reduce the variation there, and through our processing knowledge, we're able to deliver a solution that has significantly less variation than is typical on the market.